I'm going to show you the steps for the easiest story you'll ever write. Since I started in the middle of March, I don't have time to do a 30-day challenge. I want to keep those on a month-by-month -month basis, start at the beginning of the month and at the end of the month. So instead, I'm going to do something much shorter, so, which is okay, because March is about St. Patrick's Day and leprechauns, and leprechauns are short. Instead, what we're going to do is a one-day story challenge. I can imagine that out there you're saying, Randy, you have lost your mind. No one's going to be able to write a story in one day. But yes, we can, because what we're going to be doing are three-sentence stories. That's very easy to do. I came up with the idea for a three-sentence story while I was teaching classes on writing memoirs. This was something that would be able to help uh, the people in the class kind of learn the art of storytelling, because... Even though we're only talking three sentences, it does follow the structure of a story. And this can be really important. I mean, so these are a great way to practice uh, outlining, I'm sorry, not outlining, practice the structures of stories and what needs to go where. And that can be incredibly helpful when you move to short stories and even novels. And then another thing that's great about doing that is while we are working on these shorter stories for the next couple of weeks, you're getting your brain tuned to the writing process. Sitting down, working on a project, thinking about what you want to write. Uh, the whole creative juices get going, and all you're going to have to produce is a three-sentence story in order to do that. Even though I imagine that all of us can write a story in less than a day, I'm going to break up the video uh, the way I normally do, which would be a day-by-day -day explanation of it. So if it bothers you that the video lists day one, day two, day three, it, just in your mind change that to first half hour, second half hour, first 10 minutes, second 10 minutes, whatever. If that bothers you, go ahead and think of it differently. But this is going to set you up for the format we'll be using moving forward for the 30-day story challenge and the six months to a novel challenge. All writing projects start with figuring out what it is you want to write. Magazines, anthologies, they will normally pull out a call for stories that include themes and genres that they are specifically interested in. This corresponds to the writing process for longer stories that you may do if you move on to writing your own anthologies or writing a novel. You need to decide first what it is you're going to write about. Okay, not everyone does that. Some people just sit down and, and you could just start writing. But uh, I find it more productive if you have at least an idea of what it is you're going to write before you try to write it. Since this is St. Patrick's Day, I'm sorry, since this is the month of St. Patrick's Day, I want to write about leprechauns. So that's going to be the theme, leprechauns. I'm going to leave the mood, the genre, and the consideration for the audience up to you. That's totally up to you. So if you want to write leprechauns, horror story, uh, hopefully not for a young audience, then you can do that. Whatever you want, you do that for your three-sentence story, for your one-day story challenge uh, this week. It's usually best if you can write a story that's different from the others that are out there. You want to distinguish yourself, separate yourself from the rest of the market. Now here again, if you're not writing for publication, then it doesn't really matter what you write about. Uh, but it might be, if you're going to share this with family, friends, it still might be a good idea to pick something different so that they're not reading something that has been done over and over and over again. Uh, and secretly are thinking like, eh, yeah, you kind of stole that from this author or that author. So my mind goes to, I want something different. It's going to be about a leprechaun. Let's do science fiction because 
let's face it, we don't really get a lot of science fiction leprechauns running around the galaxy, shooting lasers, whatever the case may be. Uh, and, and now I, I get a lot of ideas flowing through my mind of what I could possibly do with it. All right, so my mood, um, I'm going to go with my target audience first. So I'm going to talk middle grade. And so middle grade tends to be uh, youth between 8 and 12, 8 to 14, right? So my mood needs to be lighter. It needs to be a little funnier, perhaps. No serious uh, themes, I mean, no serious concepts in it. Now, I, I got it that this is a three-sentence story, and really we're not going to be able to develop any of that very much, but this is the process you would go through for longer stories. So I'm going to write about a leprechaun, uh, it's going to be science fiction, and I want to keep it uh, light and amusing and appropriate for younger audiences. The idea behind a three-sentence story is that each of the senses represents one part of the standard story structure. The beginning, the middle, the end. So that means that one sentence is for the beginning of the story, another sentence is for the middle of the story, and the third sentence is obviously for the end of the story. All right In the first sentence, we need to include the information that belongs at the beginning of a story. And that tends to be uh, what is referred to as setup or setting. And what that means is this is the information that readers need for the rest of the story to make sense. All right. And I usually go by the five W's, which is who, where, when, what, and why. And I get that in a three-sentence story, that is a lot of elements to put into a single sentence. So we're not going to do that. We're going to pick two. And what I'm going to ask for this challenge is, you know what? I'm not going to ask that. You pick two elements and go with that. I'm going to pick who, which is probably one of the best elements that you're going to want to go with. And I'm going to pick where. All right. So I'm going to try to put together a sentence uh, for my three sentence story that talks about who the story is about and where that uh, takes place, where the story takes place. Okay, and then I'm also going to include some lovely theme music and an image so that if you want to write along with me, you can do the same. All right, and here we go. All right. Here's my thought process. I'm going to talk while I'm thinking so that you see what's going on through my mind. So I need the who. So obviously it's going to be a leprechaun because that's the challenge. Get leprechauns in there. But I've also picked science fiction. So with science fiction, what seems appropriate is uh, maybe a young leprechaun and an adventurous leprechaun. One that uh, goes against tradition because that seems very appropriate for science fiction. Then my other element is where and that becomes more of a problem so it's science fiction and i don't know are there leprechauns outside of ireland are there leprechauns in the states where else might leprechauns be i, I, I guess i could do a story about maybe a leprechaun leprechaun colony on another planet or even on a, a spaceship that is colonizing another world I mean, so that, that might be good. But I've already kind of basically have an idea in the back of my mind of where I want to go with this story. So instead, yeah, you know what? Stop the music. I decided that instead of where, I'm going to go with what. Now, the what of a story is what's happened. Uh, generally, that's a, an event that propels the hero forward on an adventure of some sort. So I, I like that. I like that better. And so we've got our young adventurous leprechaun who can't find a place to hide his gold. All the traditional places um, are risky because this is a high-tech world and people with gold, you know, metal detectors, gold detectors, all sorts of things make it so much easier 
for their gold to be found. So the, for me, here's the what. He needs to find a new place where he's going to deposit his gold. There we go. So that's my story. I'm going to write a first sentence based on that. This is how my first sentence goes. A young, adventurous leprechaun named Lucky finds that all the traditional hiding places for his gold are no longer safe, and he needs to find a new way to protect his pot of gold from treasure hunters. All right, there we go. That's my first sentence. Uh, one thing I, I do kind of want to let you know and keep in mind that these are three sentence stories. So when it gets done, it is not going to be like a Pulitzer Prize winning story. They're tiny stories. They should be amusing. So if, when I'm done with this, you find it amusing, it made you think a little bit, then I've succeeded in writing a good three-sentence story. In my next video, later this week, I will be working on sentence two, which is the middle of the story, sentence three, which is the end of the story, and then I'll read the whole thing, the complete story out loud. Then next week, we're going to do another one-day challenge. Um, I think I, I've got a friend working on a picture that she's drawing, and we'll use that as the inspiration for what to write about. That will be the theme for next week's. Then in April, we will start our first 30-day story challenge. Hope you enjoyed writing with me. Please feel free to leave any questions or comments in the comment section. And until next time, later.